Hi, this is Natalie with Vitiligo Friends, and today is Saturday, March 24th, and um, I thought I'd do my uh, podcast from outside because it's just a beautiful day out, and today we are going to discuss the ginger root experiment, because uh, it's been almost a month, but uh, I'm just going to stop today because there hasn't been any change in my skin. As you can see, there's uh, no new repigmentation on there. And, um, you know, I think after three and a half weeks, that's probably enough time for something to have shown in it, and it hasn't. So I'm going to stop that. However, I do have a new um, idea for another experiment. I've remembered a long time ago, I read something about uh, a certain... A product, not product really, it's a vitamin uh, slash natural ingredient. I don't really know if it's a vitamin, um, <clears throat> but it's called neem, N-E-E-M. And I remember, this is like eight years ago, I remember reading about it and, and it said that if you put this on your skin, the oil of this, that it helps stimulate pigmentation. And um, I never did find it anywhere. Uh, and so it just kind of got put out of my mind. Well, I was at my great Whole Foods the other day, and not buying the ginger root, by the way, but uh, just there shopping, and um, I saw this little bottle of neem, and it's just like a little oil uh, with a little dropper on it. So, so I got it, and then I thought, well, as soon as I'm done with this experiment, then I'm going to go ahead and, and begin the next one because clearly this didn't work and so uh, on me. So I'm going to try something different. The good news is that um, even though it didn't work for me, I, I have had people tell me that it was working for them. We have to remember that with vitiligo, I think that the duration for however long someone has had vitiligo makes a difference. So, um, some things may work for somebody and may not work for somebody else. Um, I've had vitiligo uh, for about 15 years now, so maybe that's too long for the ginger root juice to have stimulated pigmentation. My guess would be that the pigmentation is stimulated through ginger root juice, if it does work, um, because it irritates the skin and perhaps that's what causes um, a disruption in the cells and maybe that disruption shakes up any kind of antibodies that are causing the, the um, melatonin to not produce. So maybe that's why that works because I do know that it irritated my skin a little bit it didn't you know I mean it turned pink and normally when I saw pink that would mean that pigmentation is about to begin but perhaps in this instance pink meant irritation and I remember it remember it did uh, kind of burn a little bit um, underneath my lip when I used it there so perhaps it's just that irritant that stimulates the cells to kick uh, into a producing melanin. I, you know, that's just my guess. I, I'm not a scientist or a doctor. I'm, I'm just a woman sitting here trying new things to s help us repigment our skin. So, um, take it for what that's worth, okay? You can try it yourself and see if it works. Just be careful when you're doing any kind of experiment that if you have any a reaction just stop right away because you don't want to further um, irritate your skin. So we're going to start a new experiment with neem. It does say not to apply the oil at 100% strength on the skin, so I'm going to uh, find out what, um, how I should cut that with water or what product I should cut it with. If anyone has used neem, please uh, email me or leave a message below in the comments area and then um, I can see what you've done and, and you know maybe incorporate that into uh, my experiment so we're here we go again a new experiment thanks for sticking with me uh, I hope that you are enjoying this as, as much as I am even though the outcome wasn't what we wanted uh, in my case doesn't mean that it 
maybe it worked for you if you joined along uh, do write in and let me know if that happened and um, so we'll begin this uh, it might not be daily because I noticed that um, I didn't have anything to show you daily so um, unless you unless you guys like just watching these videos daily for things that um, I may have to offer um, ideas and stuff then you know do write in and let me know that you do like the daily videos because then I can just do that and talk about other things as well as show you what's going on in our experiment so that would be the ideal answer because I do love uh, talking with you and, and I do love how it opens up a uh, communication between us in in emails and in the comments area so that's really um, been wonderful so I look forward to hearing from you, and um, please join us on our uh, friends page uh, in Facebook. That's Vitiligo Friends, if you do a search in Facebook. And then you can also reach me at vitiligocover.com, that's one word, and uh, leave a message there for me. Oops, sorry about that. And you can just leave a message there for me, and I'll get back to you. So have a great weekend. And uh, we'll start our name experiment tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.